Hello everybody, welcome to my latest uh, drawing exercise. Uh, I want to do a, a tree, um, maybe from a winter uh, season, uh, because I have no, no uh, leaves on this tree. Uh, so it is just a pencil outline, and um, I'm building my light and shadow a little bit at a time. Uh, so obviously this video is only about three minutes long, but this took me over two hours of just sitting there with my pencil, uh, shading away, uh, making sure all my shapes are in proportion. Um, I find that a lot of my students uh, fall short in getting their branches uh, in proportion, meaning uh, the trunk is obviously all obviously always the uh, biggest part of your tree and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller as it gets longer uh, and the branches extend and extend uh, to a point where it's just one pencil uh, mark. Uh, so obviously pick where your light source is coming from, either the left or the right, um, and uh, start putting that in. Um, and make sure that the lighting and the shading uh, makes sense. So uh, underneath the branches uh, and on the left or the right of the branches uh, should always be darker uh, and that'll naturally uh, create this three-dimensional feel for your uh, tree. Um, and obviously put a little bit of a ground to it. Uh, you know, I have a little bit of blades of grass uh, around it. It'll anchor it to the page uh, and it'll uh, make it look like it's not floating in midair. Um, so, and my tree has a little bit of character, has a little bit of bend to it, um, and you know, a little bit of mystery. Uh, obviously you could plunk this uh, tree into some sort of fantasy uh, landscape, um, which I do with my grade eights. Um, usually after the holidays, uh, they dive into a fantasy um, unit that has them do uh, everything from characters to fantasy landscapes, fantasy vehicles and, and shuttles. Uh, so, uh, and at the end of the whole unit, they have to incorporate absolutely everything um, into one painting, meaning a uh, character in a landscape uh, riding, say, a vehicle. Uh, so it gives them that whole entire uh, experience of trying to get that uh, scale right and the proportions right uh, to implementing a character into a landscape is actually quite hard to make sure that your character is not too big, not too small, that sort of thing. Uh, so this uh, unit could obviously be put into uh, a summer scene, uh, spring scene, fall scene, winter scene. You could add uh, leaves uh, and all sorts to this tree uh, to add uh, to plunk it into any time period of the year. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, obviously you could uh, slow it down to your heart's content uh, and obviously stay safe and keep creating.